Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Thank you very much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. Today, uh, we have an Nmix comeback on the way um, in a couple of weeks time. I am very much looking forward to it. It's going to be a great time. Uh, but there's a bunch of stuff that has dropped uh, in the lead up to said comeback that I want to check out. And I'm a little bit late to some of it, but you know, that's just how it be sometimes. <laughs> I was trying to decide whether I wanted to react to these things or not. And then looking at it today, I was like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I wanna. So that's what we're doing. So we're doing, I'm pretty sure this is all pertaining to the comeback. I guess we'll find out, but we have the docking station declaration. We have Secret of Sweet Oasis. We have the mixed letter volumes one and two, and then we have the voice only highlight medley for the album. Like I said, I think, <laughs> I think they're all pertaining to the comeback. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll have a good time regardless. Um, quick note. Uh, I have still not emotionally recovered from Ginny leaving the group. That's going to take some time for me. If you don't know, she was my bias. I love her to death. I miss her all the time. <laughs> and with all of the like groups leaving and disbanding and whatnot, um, members leaving even, uh, she was one of the ones that hit me the hardest from last year. And yeah, I'm still, I'm, st I'm, I'm not quite ready for a six member comeback, but I'm doing my best to kind of put that to one side and, you know, get excited for and support the rest of the girls as much as I possibly can. So let's dive into this. Lego. Okie dokie, quick bit of housekeeping. I have started um, Mixplore over on Patreon. I'm going to be doing some more, I think, next week. Um, I've done the first episode. I'm going to do some more episodes next week. Um, I decided to pause and put on hold and mix in Wonderland because it honestly hurt me to watch content that Ginny's in. Um, so yeah, I will get back to that eventually, but for now I'm just going to focus on the content that has six members because it's a little bit less emotionally devastating. Um, so yeah, that's, that's happening over on Patreon if you're interested. No worries if not, it's all good. Let's get into this. So we're starting off with the declaration. Let's go. Three, two, one. Go. Mohamed Jairo Henanda was much louder than I thought it was going to be. Urinen Seron Kanem Songultara, Hanshi Sege Field Eso, Seron Sege Mixro Korogata Hunzaramian, Ama Botesel Koshita. 그동안 새로운 친구들을 많이 만났다. 사자와 고래, 해파리, 그리고 고양이들까지. Right, right, right. 우리는 금세 친해졌고, 우리의 발걸음마다 피어난 수많은 감정의 조각들을 수집하며 앞으로 나아갔다. 믹스는 우리의 Wait, wait. <웃음> we are all of the same mind. Uh... 고, 우리의 발걸음마다 피어난 수많은 감정 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One gets taken. Okay, I see. I see. I see what they did there. Okay, I like the little nod to it. I appreciate that. Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。Hmm。
proper lore for them. I think it's super cool. And not that I understand half of the stuff that goes on, but like, I appreciate that it exists <laughs> and it's very cool. All right, Secret of Sweet Oasis. Hello everyone, nice to mix you. And this news is oh hey one speaking. I've been hearing a lot of comments and questions about Sweet Oasis. And I'm sure that all of you girls know that Sweet Oasis is the hottest candy franchise in the world, right? The dessert shop that sells only one type of candy. The interesting part is that there are rumors about something melancholy going on at this dessert shop. I'm sure that it must be hiding somewhere. Does curiosity cause fear? Oh my, you little cutie! Attention everyone, here at Mix News, we're going to break into Sweet Oasis number 1202 just for you guys. <laughs> I think I have to go now. Take care everyone, bye! Cutie! <laughs> that was amazing! Okay. So the concept of this comeback is essentially them uh how do i word this like fighting against that which would stop them from getting to mixtopia is that am i am i am i wow <laughs> so jeez pretty Loud, 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 loud. No. He's all connected. <laughs> I see. Okay. Okay. I say like that like I still even slightly fully understand what's going on, but like I know a, I, I figured out a little bit of it at least. The explosive popularity of Sweet Oasis Green Candy. Or is unique in that it only sells green candy. Even the store logo is a green eagle and its uniform is also green. The follow is the store's advertisement phrase. The candy from Sweet Oasis is so sweet that it will make your mind go blank. It's a candy with perfect colour and taste. Once you take a bite of this candy, you can also experience yourself becoming perfect. Give it a taste before you fall behind on the trend. As the advertisement of Sweet Oasis states, the store's green candy has captivated people's hearts with its excessive sweetness. It's to the point where those who haven't had the candy yet say they feel excluded. And Mix visited the store themselves and confirmed it was filled with customers wanting to buy the candy. candy. Those who came by the store started started by taking pictures of the green candy as if it was a must. Upon interviewing the customers, everybody who agreed to the interview highly praised the green candy. Some even proudly stated that their tongues turned green after having too much of it. Enmix has doubts about the suspicious store and is currently investigating it. Okay. He's just so cute. I'm not gonna lie, it, it, that candy does look good as hell. <laughs> I want some. Okay. Is this... Is it basically just repeating this so you can read? Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll skip ahead to the next one. So, talking truth about Sweet Oasis. Okay. Pick and mix, remodeled into Sweet Oasis. Okay, yeah, so it is the same place. Uh, the truth behind Sweet Oasis has been revealed. Enmix went undercover to dig up the truth behind about Sweet Oasis. 
through their investigation, they have gathered several pieces of evidence that Sweet Oasis had intentions of harmoning the diversity of people. The investigation revealed a shocking truth. The store's owner has changed from the old dessert shop, Pick and Mix, which sold various donuts and candies, to Sweet Oasis, which only sells a single type of candy with one flavor. And Mix have a clear memory of Pick and Mix as a vision of it welcomed them the day they took their first step into Mix. The Pick and Mix from their memory and the current Sweet Oasis are entirely different stores, which only intensified the confusion. How Pick and Mix became Sweet Oasis remains a mystery. The new owner's identity has yet to be revealed as well. However, a uniform with boots, an apron, and a raincoat assumed to have been left by the owner was seen hanging on the wall of a secret room. Meanwhile, it was confirmed that... Monopole? I'm going to go with Monopole. The store's clerk is the owner's follower. Okay, this is very cool. I'm so here for this. Okay. Alright, so that's that little clip. We don't need to watch anymore. Okay. Yeah, story-wise, this is really cool. I'm I'm kind of I kind of want to like go back and rewatch the older stuff that came out ahead of the previous two releases um, and kind of start like piecing things together. Cause like, as far as I remember, this is the most in depth, like stuff that we've gotten with regards to any kind of lore or story. If I remember correctly, like there's obviously been hints at things and we had like the declarations and whatnot prior to both of the previous releases, I think. But yeah, this, this feels this feels different. This feels like we've, we're taking a whole other step and I'm here for it. I am absolutely here for it. Anyway, highlight medley voice only version. I am so here for this. I love I love this. I feel like there's been a couple of groups that have done these kind of highlight medleys or something similar where it's like an acapella version um or you know something to that effect and i think it's a really really cool idea because it obviously it gives you a little tease of the song without actually you know giving you much at all um and i think i think it's really cool so let's have a listen i am super excited for this album i think it's great that we have isn't it like six is it six tracks i think it's six tracks somewhere around there which is great but also there was that little worry in my mind <laughs> that they were gonna pull one of those like let's have like three new tracks and just put all of the previous tracks onto the album i <sighs> that 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 is my villain or origin story right there but they didn't they gave us all new tracks and i'm so freaking excited for it so let's do this Ex expergo highlight medley voice only version three two one go I assume, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, everybody. Oh, all the layering is heaven. I wonder how many times they had to film this because one of them burst out laughing by how close they were. <laughs> like, keep a straight face, keep a straight face, keep a straight face. <laughs> I know that's you, Soyu, and I can hear you. Ooh. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, wow, Lily looks stunning. Sully is gonna be a problem for me, I think. 
be the one home might be the one they all sound great and obviously we're just getting vocals i have no fucking idea what any of the instrumentals gonna sound like but just just based on that home might be the one maybe oh that was really good that was really 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 good i think love me like this is the title track i th think i can't remember for sure but i think it is Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Yeah, really, really, really cool way to do a highlight medley. It gives you so much and nothing at all, all at the same time. And that is my favorite kind of teaser. <laughs> it's my favorite kind of teaser. That was great. All of the songs sound great, at least from a vocal production point of view. All of the layering and the harmonies and all of that. I just, um, I hope we get all of that like in the full tracks. And this wasn't just like a specifically a cappella arrangement because I think it would be really cool to hear you know all of those layers and whatnot in there so we'll see we shall see I guess uh but all the songs sound great I'm very very excited and uh, yeah I I honestly I don't know so like I said in the beginning uh Ginny what's my bias in Nmix honestly Ginny was like this close to becoming an alt bias and that's part of the reason why uh her leaving hit me like a truck um and so, so i don't really know who my bias is in the group now <laughs> like you know i have i have my i have my wreckers but honestly like no one even came close to how aggressively i bias Ginny. um you know how like sometimes you have those groups it's like you have you have your wreckers that they like occasionally cause some issues every so often but for the most part like you are aggressively biased to this one person and it's like it's just not changing you know so it feels very very similar to my situation with idol where you know susan was a bias love her to death and ever since she left like i haven't been able to settle on another bias in the group because like i don't know like they just like my heart forever belongs to susan and now my heart forever belongs to Ginny. I don't know what to do, so we'll see. But I do feel like Solyun is going to be a problem. <laughs> she's going to be a problem. I don't know what it is, man. Like she's just over the past. I think since uh, Dice and you know, just like over the you know, ever since then, like the little bits of content that I've seen, like she's just been kind of sneaking her way in. And we'll see, we'll see. But Solyun, Solyun may take the, may take the bias spot at least in terms of like the active members, you know. Anyway, all of that being said, I'm very excited for this comeback. It is going to be a great time. It's going to be a great time. I'm super intrigued to see what all of these songs f like end up sounding like in full. Um, and yeah, just very very cool to get a little bit more on the law side of things and be able to start like piecing all of that together like that's always a fun time anyway i'm gonna end this one here now let me know your thoughts on everything and um i will see you i i don't know if i'm gonna react to any more teasers um like when it comes to like mv teasers all of that sort of stuff i don't know if i'm gonna react to those because we've got we got a bit of a busy time coming up <laughs> we got like a couple of weeks of just like a lot of things happening um and i'm also going to be moving house very very soon like over these next few weeks so um i probably won't react to any more teasers so i will probably not see you until release day um, but obviously I'll be doing the MV here and then the album over on Patreon, so it'll be a good time regardless. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <coughs>